All right, before you learn this song, you should go watch Ryan Hungerford's cover of it. It's beautiful. It used to always be stuck in my head, and I always used to watch that video. I still do. I was watching it tons of times today. I'm going to put the link to it in the description. So that little intro part is going to start on the third fret, the next finger on the top string, ring finger on the A on the fifth, and you're just plucking them back and forth. So you're going to do it three times, one, two, three, slide them both over one fret, one time, so. And then you're going to slide it all the way to the seventh. Do it one time there, so. Then slide it to the fifth. And do it two times there, so. So. And then you're gonna go back to where you started on the third fret and do it four times. Slide over to the second fret, do it four times there. And then slide back to the seventh. You're gonna do it like eight times. Then the song's gonna get a little quiet and you can just kind of go on the top string, third fret and the second fret back and forth with a little And then uh, in the song, the distortion kicks in, the distortion effect like on the amp. Uh, so you could just do the same thing you were doing, like the. But this time you're just gonna strum the top two strings. So like. I got my mind gone, but I love you and you know. So that's how it's going to be. Then in the end, there's this high note being played, and you could play it on the 8th fret on the B string. And it's just like... And then you go to the 7th. Then to the 12th. Then the 10th. 